Hi guys, it's been a while. Oh my goodness. So, first I'll properly introduce myself. I always forget to do that. Um, just because I totally spaced it, but I've seen that I've gained some new friends. So, welcome. My name is Esmeralda, and I am in um, the oven state named Arizona. <laughs> Um, so anyway, um, after the Vitas was over, uh, we went and picked my mom up. She's in California and she stayed here for about a week. And so I was busy. <laughs> I was busy with my mama enjoying every second of her. Um, so I didn't really do much while she was here because we were out just showing her the state of Arizona. <laughs> it's her third yearly uh, mini vacation trip she takes out here with us. And uh, it's usually earlier in the year, but because of everything that happened, we didn't get to do it until now. And we still got to enjoy that. Um, and uh, so, we had kind of, we had a staycation we didn't go away away but we went to you know uh like we went to sedona not sedona prescott and uh showed her you know all the little stores out there and um, um stuff like that and enjoyed that and uh, found a lot of nice little shops and um had fun with that so then, um, uh, once she left, I was just kind of like, blah, you know, just resting from that little vacation. <laughs> the only thing I did while she was here, and that's because I worked on it while I went to California, I was going to save this for last, but. This is something I did do while driving out to get her. And this is called the Hagstitch and Friends Shawl. <laughs> I am so excited about this piece. So it starts off here with uh, double crochets. I believe I did eight. The half circle is eight. And then I do um, two double crochets, and then I do one increase, and then I have more double crochets here, and then I do a little lace or windows or whatever you call them, where it's uh, double crochet, and then skip one double crochet, you know, in the chain one and that kind of stuff, and then more double crochets here and here. This green is the hack stitch, okay. I work the half stitch and then when I try to get it when it's changing colors because every green is the hag stitch this is kind of a I don't know mustery color and in here I did another thing I did is I used uh, stitches that I've never used before um, that I really I wasn't sure about them on how to make them and how to make them work so and that's why this is called the hag stitch and friends because the main stitch is obviously the hag stitch and then every other stitch is a different one and this I believe this is where um, it's two double crochets chain one two double crochets in the same space that's what I did here and then again it changed to a green so here's the hag stitch and this I believe they called it a a side oh my gosh a side something stitch this gray here I have <laughs> I can't remember what it's called if I find the proper name I will put it down there I'll put down the stitches that I used to make this um, and then I 
I believe I believe all these is the hag stitch here because I wanted more of the hag stitch in there so these these three rows here that you see are the hag stitch and then this is the cluster stitch and then I end it with the hag stitch and then on the bottom I have a small shell and then on the top my famous crab stitch I love using the crab stitch on a shawl up here to finish it off and give it a nice look so that is how this was created okay um, and of course the center that's the, the center has that uh, V that uh, V stitch in it the center which gives it that um, round shape I like those the best and so this is the Hag Stitch and Friends Shawl. I also entered this in the Michaels contest that's going on right now. So I'm excited. Um, and since we're on the Hag Stitch, this is the baby blanket I made using the Hag Stitch. I just absolutely love this texture. I, I'm crazy over this. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, and now, my Amor Z from Zelda NRJ3 is having a birthday cow. And it's called the Just Feel uh, Festive Call Cow. And I'll leave all that information down below. And... Here's my first one. This is done in that he Huggy Huggy. I forget the name of the of the yarn in the sterling silver. And it is so soft. And this is created by Kalisha. Like I said, I'll leave all the information. I have a headache and I just can't think right, but I wanted to get this done. Um Anyway, I will leave all that information down below. But this is so fun and so quick. I love it. I had started one a while ago, but I don't think I was filling the yarn I was using because I, I just I just left it. But um, these yarns that I found, I just love them. It's so soft and so chunky. So that's the first one. I take it out, but it's long. This one is about uh, 50 inches long. This one is 60 inches long, so I'm not going to. So this is yarn that my mother-in-law gave me. And the first ball has these browns, blacks, and grays. And then the middle ball has these blues, cream, and stuff in it. And then it ends with the same, the other box. I only had three, because I had made something else with um, this yarn. And... Um, and this blue one there was only one of this blue one so I used it in the middle of the last two that I had and I just I love I love this shawl it's called the just feel festive shawl and it's just it works up really quick it was so fun I just I don't know I think it's just the way it's made you know what I mean because you can make it as wide and as long as you want obviously this pattern is just very versatile in that and I just, I love it. I started another one, so I have three going. I had to undo it yesterday. I probably would have been done with it, but <laughs> I somewhere I missed a stitch, and so I had to go back a lot. So I will be taking care of that later. I just, I can't even think right now to, to work on it. Um, when I get those headaches, boy, let me tell you, they, they are not fun. And so... Um, once I was done making the, because this is the second one. Once I was done making that one, um, my aunt asked if I could make these pies so she could make a garland. So she's going to do the garland part. She's going to attach it to the garland that she has for them. So every other one has whipped cream on it. So she wanted seven pieces. So that's what she got, seven pieces. So those are going to go off to her. Did I show that well? Let's see. And those were fun to make. Oh my gosh, I think I did it in like, I don't know, I don't want to say. They, they were just fast to make, really. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. <laughs> and then I made some more of these hats. 
um, so I could uh, put them in my cows that I've been. I hadn't posted any pictures, and I better do that now because it's all going to end, and I didn't post any pictures. And these, I was going to put little pumpkin faces on them, but my friend said no because I want to use them for Thanksgiving too. But then, um, oh my gosh, is it Crystal from Ricolas who's doing the Halloween um, cow? Um, she did a pumpkin and put it on here. I'm going to ask her if she wants that. See what she says. If she does, I'll add it. If not, that's okay. And then I got this here done. I was going to make a pillow out of it, but I don't have any fabric to stuff it. So I'm just going to hang it, use it as a wall hanging. So there's that. Um, and now I'm going to go. I was enjoying watching uh, some of my favorite YouTubers um, like Pam, Pamela from um, Pam's Crochet and Knit Corner. She had an awesome video up today. That was fun to watch. And um, then I got to join in Jill's life for a little bit there. Um, and just a few others that I was watching, but then I just, I couldn't focus anymore. My head is just, uh. So I'm going to go, I'm going to finish my lunch here. I'm having some chia pudding and it has um, a trail mix in it. So I've got peanuts, raisins, almonds, and all kinds of different nuts in it. It's very good. And I think I'm going to lay down because this headache is not fun. I took something, so I'm hoping that it'll kick in here soon. And uh, anyway, it's early morning, but not early morning. Gosh, it's almost afternoon. <laughs> Where am I at? But I probably won't put this up until later. I've got information to put down. And so anyway um welcome everyone thanks for hanging out and uh i'm gonna get some rest so that i can continue to watch my lovely crafty friends here so anyway i hope you're having a good morning good day good evening whatever time it is wherever you are at and i will see you hopefully soon bye guys <laughs>